collision detection and why it's suddenly not a pain in the ass anymore because of Flint Studio's own physics library. So let's get started. Uh, first you want to change your environment here to interactive. Um, I like the plane instead, it's more simple. And Snapchat if you're listening, would be great if you added more mock-up environments or at least let us make some of our own or put in cube maps or whatnot. Uh, go to the main camera here and add device tracking so we can be making world lenses and not just face filters or whatnot and what we need here is two objects so let's create a box let's create a sphere and it's right here I believe the sphere is hiding inside the box. Let's drag the box down. So the two components we need here is a physics body and a physics collider. Let's start with the body. I believe the physics body is similar to the ragdoll component in Unity, if you're coming from there. Just type physics body here. Oops, let's add that to the sphere instead. Physics body. Okay. So yeah, you notice it already um, added gravity to it, which is really cool. You can turn it off here by turning off dynamic. Uh, you can change the fall speed as well. You can change the mass. Let's say it's 100 kilo. Let's get back to one and you can show the collider here. Let's go back to the box. Let's add a physics collider. Great. Now there are two tangible objects that can hit each other. You might notice that our sphere is considered a box, which we just can change here in the shape type. Change that to a sphere. A new thing they added is also really cool. It's a mesh collider. So if you have like a abstract uh, something or something that is not a cone, capsule, sphere, cylinder, or box, you can just apply that. It's of course a bit more computational heavy, but it like will save you a lot of work in the end. And for some reason, our box is considered a sphere. So let's make our box a box. And we can show the collider here as well. So it shows up as like these green or blue lines. Um, also something. I want to show you, let's rotate the box a bit and we can make it slide off. Could look at this all day. But uh, anyways, you want to have an event triggered based on the collision. So let's try to get that going. We want to start to create a script here and I pre-made a script so this is a bit modified from what you'll find on the Lens Studio Docs and you can find this code here in the description below um, and we want to add this it's very important you add this to the physics collider and not the physics body so let's go to the box here, add the script. Amazing. So we see it works. We get information or a printout when it hits. So let's maybe try to 
make the box disappear when it gets hit. So maybe this is very useful for your next um, FPS game or RPG game where you will have bosses or creatures to fight against. So you just select a box here and then put field and voila, it's gone.